Hey there, welcome back. I'm gonna take you on a tour of Shimoda's best beaches today. To, to celebrate the um, reopening of Shimoda after two years of COVID, uh, I'm gonna take you on a tour of the beaches. I think there's eight or nine, let's, let's get the final tally at the end of the video. Uh, but there's, there's not many crowds today, where, even though we're in Golden Week, because there's still some restrictions, but everybody is optimistic that um, everything gets lifted this summer, and this summer Shimoda is back. So, let's look at the list. Let's start on the east side of town and work our way westwards. Shirahama is popular with the um, surfers and is popular with the Shibuya generation, <laughs> the Shibuya crowd. Uh, so it's a, it's a really nice big beach, simple waves for beginning surfers and yeah, it attracts young people um, every summer. Uh, the second beach is Sotoura, and this is actually the first beach I ever visited, my first experience in Shimoda. And Sotoura is a clean, crescent-shaped, um, low-wave beach. Sotoura Beach is in this protected little bay. It gets very little wave action. It's got a nice, clean, uh, low sloping uh, sandy approach into the water it's great for families it's a really calm beautiful beach and bay so if we expand our coverage to include bodies of water um, there's the uh, the mouth of the river Uh, there's a lot of water around Shimoda, um, a lot of beaches, of course, as I've said, but um, there's river uh, waterways uh, going through the town and around the town, too. It's a working fishing port. There's lots of fishing that goes on from here, and um, yeah, lots to, lots to see water-wise. The next beach along the path as we head east to west is Nabeta. It's a really tiny beach. The next beach is Tatadohama. It's also a small beach, very cozy, very welcoming to families, but also it gets a little bit of surfing action. As we roll through Shimoda, there's a couple of eateries that I want to bring to your attention. These are great places, my regular spots. The first one is Dave's Taco Shack. Best burritos in Shimoda, perhaps in Japan. <laughs> and the second one is the White Beach Hotel. This place, it's a you know full-blown hotel and bar. Fantastic Sri Lankan curry this year. Uh, they got a Sri Lankan chef in for the whole summer, and he does a wonderful curry to die for. Um, you know, all the amenities of a hotel here, so, you know, call Kevin and book a room. <laughs> uh, 
Now working our way westwards, the next beach is Iditahama, which means enter the field beach. <laughs> I don't know where that comes from, but um, it's a beautiful, beautiful beach. Um, gets just a little bit of wave. Um, it's got beautiful uh, sand, long, long expanse of sand. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, 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 you know, captured within a couple of outcroppings of rock very nicely. Beautiful, beautiful place. Okay, next on the list are two, the twin beaches of Maiso and Ohama. These are the closest to my place. They're my local beach and um, really, you know, they're good for families. They're good for surfers. Um, they're good for beach combing. Um, they're good for sun tanning, good for having a couple of beers on the beach, good for everything. Yeah, this place really gets packed up in the summer, uh, the you know July 15th to August 30th uh, summer season in Shimone. This is one of the most popular. This beach and Shirahama, uh, the first beach that I shared with you, are both really, really popular because they're so big. They can accommodate big crowds and they get them. Okay, the last beach in Shimoda proper is Toji Beach. And if you like rocks, this is the place to come. This, um, they actually come in here with uh, heavy machinery probably every spring and, um, and do something about the rocks. Uh, because the sand keeps washing away and uh, the rocks keep getting exposed. And um, there you have it, it's the rockiest beach around. Toji is also, uh, the kanji for Toji means uh, beef field. And this little hamlet uh, used to be a, where the slaughterhouses were. Okay, the last beach, the westernmost beach in Shimoda is Yumigahama. And it's technically not even in Shimoda, it's in Minami Izu. Um, it's almost at the very southernmost point of the Izu Peninsula. Um, but anybody in Shimoda um, considers this one of our beaches because it's spectacular. It um, looks like about 270 degrees of curve here. Uh, it's a really secluded, protected bay, um, long, flat expanse of beach, and um, beautiful little waves. And you know, there's no no surfing to speak of here, uh, but there's pretty much everything else. Uh, really, a wonderful beach. Okay, that wraps up the Shimoda Beach summary. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you found something that you liked. You know, Shimoda is a beach town. It's a vacation town. Please come on down and, and, and see for yourself. It's a wonderful place to live, wonderful place to vacation. Thanks for hanging around.